everybody, J.M. Mannion here at the NPC Photo Gym and back to do her 2024 Road to the Olympia is IFBB Fresh League Wellness Multiple Champion, Cass Gillis. Who we've decided we're just going to call her Cass because that's all you need to know. <laughs> She's like Madonna, like Cher. She hits Cat. When you're talking wellness, it's just Cass. You all right with that? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. So that's how we're going to go now. I'll tell Bob not, to, not, not your last just name. Cass. Just Cass. Cass. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Sounds good. All right. So Cass, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm currently seven days out from Reno. So we decided to come over here to get this trip in. I took a red-eye flight just to come see you guys. And then I'm flying right back home after this. Um, then back out to Reno. I'll see you at Reno. Oh, awesome. Okay, perfect. Um, and then after that, it's the Olympia. So I'm feeling good. All right. All right. So you were, you were here before when we, the gym was still brand new. So when you walked in the building today, were you surprised to see everything here? What did you think of it? It's awesome. There's so many new glute machines I got to try out and some I've never even tried in my life before. So it's, it's like a kid in a candy shop when you get to try all these new machines. Yeah, they just, new tech just brought them and put them in like two weeks ago. That's how new they are. That's awesome. Yeah, I saw that I had like the Olympia logos on them and the IRBB Pro logos. Yeah. So that's, that's awesome. That's cool. All right. So Cass, going into this year's Olympia, is there anything that you're doing differently than previous years? Um... Well, my feedback from Tyler was to just streamline my physique a bit. So a little bit too muscular. So just not training super, super heavy or crazy or anything, just kind of maintaining, um, training a lot of glutes. I can train glutes harder, but we want to bring down the size in um, my quads and my hamstrings. Yeah. Okay. So that's part of the reason you're going to do legions also to see what, you know, get that, get up on stage, see what everybody, what everybody says and get that feedback. Correct. Yeah, exactly. And last year I really wanted to do a warm up show and we didn't end up doing it. And I think I would have done a lot better at the Olympia if I had that warm up show. So that was our strategy this year to do. A little peace of mind now, right? Yeah, exactly. Just to get like the, the edge off, I guess you could say, yeah. and get on the stage and pose and yeah. yeah nothing wrong with that. Yeah. You know? Okay. So, um, how was it training with the Andrews sisters here? It was awesome. I love the Andrews sisters. Everyone knows them. They're, they're great people. They're both doctors now. It's, they're very inspiring to me. Like, it's just crazy how much they do on top of competing, and they just manage it all so well. So, Well, you did that being a mom, so. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I mean, shout out to all the moms out there, but you're a good example of how you can manage the sport and be a mom and a wife, right? Thank you. I appreciate that. But can't do it without like my husband and all the support that I have. So I'm grateful for that. Yes. We were actually talking last time we saw each other was we're in Tampa. And we both got stuck there until like the Tuesday after because of the tropical storm Debbie, right? It turned into a hurricane. Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah that was a little bit stressful. Originally, I was going to fly out to Tampa, which was like a last minute show we decided to jump into. And then I was going to fly home for a few days in Vancouver and then fly all the way back to Texas. But we got stuck in Tampa, so I didn't end up getting to go home to see my son and stuff. I just had to stay out in the U.S. for two weeks, but it was a great experience. I came top two. Um, it was a great show, like so many great physiques and competitors, and they were all run amazing. So, yeah. yeah. So you're feeling pretty good going into this Olympia? I think so. I think this uh, Reno show is going to help my confidence and put me where I need to be for the Olympia for sure. All right. Is there anybody else you want to give out a shout out to while you're here? Of course, all my sponsors that support my competitions and everything, uh, Dark Sport reminding me to never give up. All of the athletes on the Dark Sport team are just top tier athletes, super inspiring. Um, Dragon Pharma, my supplement sponsor that supplies all of my uh, supplements and um, helps me with my competitions. So I couldn't do this without them. Uh, my suit company, Toxic Angels Bikini, and of course, my husband, Damien, and my coach, Chris Grunlian from Team Ludacris. I remember there was a year I couldn't pronounce his last name. <laughs> <laughs> and he still doesn't let me live it down. He has it saved on his phone. <laughs> yeah. It's Grunlian. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. That's why, I was saying, that's why I was saying Team Ludacris. I was trying to be easy on you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was ready this time, though. Oh, see, I would have led with that then. <laughs> yeah. All right. So is there anything else we didn't ask that you'd like to shout out to the people, or let people know? I will be competing in Brazil. This has always been a dream of mine because the reason I started 
working out was I saw some Brazilian wellness girls on Instagram. However, the IFBB, the best federation, didn't have the category. So I went to figure um, and then I transitioned directly into wellness when I was a pro. So I'm excited to experience Brazil and just, you know, see where wellness originally came from and see all of the, the, the girls out there that inspired me to do what I'm doing today. And they probably won't speak English, but I'll still be starstruck to see them. And yeah, I'm just excited. All right. That sounds good. And that's the week after the Olympia. It's one week after the Olympia. So no, no like enjoyment really, or, you know, after food, just. And yeah, you're going to go for a three week stretch. Yes. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, if you want to see Cass, remember, it's just Cass now. On the Olympia stage, get yourself to Vegas, get those tickets. If you can't make it and you don't have tickets for the finals, at least try to go to the, the expo for the pre-judging because that's where you're going to see where most of the action happens with the comparisons and everything, correct? Yeah, for sure. The pre-judging at the yeah. expo. And if, again, if you can't make it, you can actually right now pre-order the Olympia pay-per-view at olympiaproductions.com. But being there, you can come to her, meet, meet the Olympians, talk to her. You'll see the press conference and everything else that goes along with it. You know? Love it. I love meet the Olympians. It's always so cool to see all the people that come up and talk about how you inspire them in different ways. It's just, I'm looking forward to it so much. All right. So, J.M. Mannion. Cass. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Sign up for NBCNewsOnline.com. We look forward to seeing you at the Olympia.